Yo, what's up guys? It's Troy D from the Troy D 24-7 Mall on Point Reviews all day, every day. We're back again right the next day, right after Overture, man. That was an awesome review. Man, you guys got to watch that. Um, first and foremost, I want to thank everybody that uh, complimented me. <laughs> These are my compliments. I get compliments too for the reviews. Thank you for complimenting me for that Overture review. I appreciate it, guys. We're going to keep going. And so uh, today we're going to talk about a new release 2020. That is Bortnikov. Moss Cologne. Not Musk Cologne. Moss as in Oak Moss Cologne. We're going to talk about it today. And I know there are a lot of people that are just waiting. Waiting to find out what this smells like. What I think of it. Um, and is it a, a pretty good buy for uh, spring and summer. Okay. But before that guys we're going to hit the music. Okay, we're back. All right, we're back here. Bortnikov Moss Cologne. Uh, this is a, a pure Bortnikov uh, concoction, pure Bortnikov uh, product here, right, as you know. And so this one here uh, is released in either those little samples, 2 mil that you can try out, uh, or the, the 9 mil, I believe. Um, and it's widely out there, okay? Um, it's widely out there. I believe it's on Lucky Scent, um, and Bortnikov tells it as well. Now you guys know the Syat Nova. Remember that video? Yeah, so this is just a pure uh, Bortnikov thing and uh, it's widely available. Now, this one came in as a shock as well um, because uh, this was after the Syat. He just came, came out with it like three, you know, three colognes. This one, Vesna, and the other one. Um, and to me, I gravitated toward this the most because I was thinking, man, it's going to get hot. Spring, summer, Oak Moss sounds nice. Um, as you guys know, I also bought uh, Mousse de Chen from Le Labo. So I was like, oh, this is just great. And um, I made, uh, you know, an announcement to the group if they wanted to split this one. And so we were able to get the full bottle. So here it is right here. Now this I really like about the Bortnikov presentation, how it's like this. You know, uh, it's pretty sweet actually. There you go. You got this uh, kind of like the golden, golden velvet, you know. Or golden silk, rather. Sorry, not golden velvet. Golden silk. I like that golden silk right there on the presentation. Juice is kind of dark. And um, it also comes with uh, the notes right here. Right? Bergamot, lemon, sweet orange, grapefruit on the top notes. Heart note, uh, oak moss, violet leaf, jasmine, champaka, ilang ilang, nutmeg. Base notes, oak moss again, uh, ambergris. Atlas Cedar, Virgin Cedar, Labdenum, Tonka Bean, Vanilla. All right, so lots of notes here. But I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are just like, yo, just give me the lowdown, Troy. <laughs> okay, just give me the lowdown. Should we get it or not? Okay, just put that here. Okay. All right. So motivations to get Moss Cologne is that um, I was pretty impressed with the first two colognes that ever came out, um, namely uh, Amber Cologne and Musk Cologne, okay? So Musk, Amber Cologne and Musk Cologne. So I was pretty impressed with those um, because I'm not really uh, a very like into exotics kind of guy in the sense that I don't see myself paying a lot of money and forcing myself to like something, you know, like it, th this is what I don't understand about a lot of the exotics is like, why would you pay so much money to force yourself to like something, you know, and to find, you know, like to find what's great inside of it when you couldn't even really find out about it, you know, upon first spray. This is something that I have against, you know, just exotic, like collecting, you know, uh, something I don't understand. Maybe, I mean, I tried to ask people, but all, all I got was like vague answers, you know, like, oh, it's just, it's, it's art, blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like, ah, dude, what do, do you, man? Because I'm not going to drop 220, 330 for an art form that I don't like to begin with. Once I smell it, I'm just like, oh no. And then I have to like, because I spent it buyer's remorse, I got to find out, you know, I got to be like, oh, well I discovered, you know, that it's better after, you know, an hour. I don't want to be that type of guy. So, uh, for me, the Bortnikov stuff, you know, 
Sai at Nova drama aside, the Bortnikov stuff is to me still the most wearable and the colognes are still the most wearable. And so that's the easiest, man, I don't have to really think about it. Now the Vesna had some trippy, um, trippy ingredients that I think other reviewers will do. Um, I know Darren hit me up um, the other day. He's going to do a review on the Vesna. So watch out for that. But for me, it's Moss Cologne, right? So this one was the easy choice. I was like, Oak Moss, Cologne. I've had experience with Amber and Musk. This is going to be easy work. Okay. So uh, the Musk Cologne, right? When I sprayed this one. Okay. So actually when you open the box, you can smell the ingredients right off the bottle, which is crazy, right? Actually, like seriously, like the, the, the bergamot, the lemon, uh, the sweet orange, the grapefruit, the, the, dude, the violet, that you can smell it off the thing, off the bottle, right when you open this little box right here. Um, and it excites you. At least to me, I got really excited because I like the smell. This is something that, I mean, even if I, I sniff my wrist, like I can really smell it, you know, I can really smell um, these ingredients um, on the Moss Cologne. And um, I was going to delay it until like two days later. I was like, I'll just review it two days later. But I was like, I was so excited that I was like, oh, I'm just going to wear it, you know. Um, so I wore it. I sprayed it standard three sprays um, on my neck, two on the side, one on the front and one on my wrist. And um, this is indoors. And what I got from this one, what, first performance wise, because this is the question. OK, performance wise. I was like sniffing it the whole time, right? The whole like maybe a couple hours that I was wearing it, I was sniffing it on myself the whole time, consistent, you know, indoors, indoors. Um, and what I got was actually really nice. It, it starts off real green. So if you're like a green fan, you like the green stuff, then of course this is great. Um, I'm eh, I'm like 50-50 on the green. So it starts off with the green, maybe the first like 30 to 45 minutes, you know, you get a lot of that green scents. Um, but to me, the dry down of this is even better. Okay, like the, the actually after like 30, 45 minutes, uh, the next scents that come out, you know, and also, you know, with the ambergris, um, you know, a little bit of that champaka, ilang ilang, the jasmine, the violets, uh, and also the woods, the cedars, right? The cedars are so good. Um, there's also vanilla on this, uh, but not so much, but yeah it's it's the dry down here is freaking magnificent that's what i have to say okay the dry down is magnificent so it's sort of like green in the beginning right and then sick 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 dry down okay with the vanilla um cedar ambergris still the oak moss but there's other things the nutmegs you know, some florals coming in but it's it's such a wonderful yummy like to me it's yummy to me it's like a yummy like dry down okay um now the performance issue that i know people are talking about is because once i stepped out so here's what happened right so i, I woke up i saw the package i tried it on and then i smelled it and i was like oh pretty impressed right because it's it's sort of like it's consistent it's not a blaster projection doesn't blast like 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 that or it's not even like a creeper it's just there it's just there around you um and so I was pretty uh, satisfied, right? But I see now what people are talking about because the moment I, I wore, like my, like I put on a new t-shirt that had just been uh, laundered, um, it's suddenly like the scent of my shirt started like beating the scent of this one. <laughs> like, like, you know, like the soap from the, the detergent that, I, you know, from the shirt, that smell after, after it got washed, start beating this one. And then when I walked out, you know, and, and normally when I walk out in this California weather, California has the best weather ever, by the way, you come out, there's wind, usually it catches the perfume and it just gives me a better feel of it, right? Usually, usually with most of my reviews. But this time, guys, when I walked out and the wind caught me, dude, it wasn't there. Okay. So that was like, I was like, oh, it was almost gone actually, you know, and this is like one hour in. I was like, oh, it's kind of gone. And I was just like, oh, okay. And I try to like, I try to do that. And it's like, yeah, I would get whiffs of it. But um, for the most, it was like, it wasn't catching, right? It wasn't projecting at all, right? And it was like, oh, okay. But so I come back here. So I walk back inside, back, come back to my office. And uh, then I kind of smelled it again. I was like, oh, okay. Okay, I smell it again. 
But then outdoors, I could barely, you know, I could barely, barely smell this. And it, 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 it to me, it kind of sucks because it's kind of like a wonderful, like, you know, spring summer. Like, I, I would still put this on my spring summer hit list, but um, you would definitely have to spray more than what I sprayed. That's for sure. Because if you did the standard or the standard Troy D-Way, you're not going to get nothing once you come out. Like, within maybe 30 minutes to an hour of coming out there, you're not gonna get it, but for some reason, indoors, I mean, indoors is fine. I could, I could really smell it. And let's let's do another spray again because we're indoors. You know, here we go. There we go. See, wonderful. It's wonderful, and this is this has no oud in it, so it's not for those that are looking for something safe. You don't want to do the oud thing. You want to do a spring summer thing. Definitely do this. So I would rank this. If it was performance wise, like Amber Cologne was the top, that was really strong. The Musk Cologne, Musk Musk Cologne, was also good, and I, I suggested that on my um, my office top ten. If you guys want to check that out, um, that was good, and I I could really smell that. Like like I told you guys, I come out and then woof. Once the wind hits me, it's like I could really smell that thing. Um, matter of fact, to me, like I thought it was better than Musk Ravageur. Okay, but Moss again. The scent itself is wonderful. It's it's bright in the beginning, green, a bright green, and then turns into this crazy ass dry down that's super wonderful with uh, all the other you know, amber green and all that stuff. Um, but disclaimer, I mean, yeah, the 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 projection on this, you might have to spray a little bit more to really let it perform once you're out there because, like I said, um, as this is. It's on me right now because I'm indoors, you know, but then I don't know when I went outdoors. It's just it doesn't catch on like any other, you know, fragrance that I have. But if we're talking about the fragrance itself, it's pretty good. It's pretty good for spring, summer. And that is why I also opted to do a full bottle. I mean, I could have just done a 9.5 for myself, but, you know, I said, you know, let's get the full bottle. I feel like I'm going to like this. So the lesson here is I'll probably have to spray this a little bit more or wear this indoors. Um, but I can't say nothing about the actual, um, scent itself. And I'm really glad that it wasn't like full green because I would have not, you know, I would have like disliked it. You know, I, I don't like full green. I don't like smelling like a pure fine pine forest or a pure forest or whatever. When I'm, you know, rolling around the concrete jungle, which is Los Angeles, California, there's no way. So, very nice. Very nice. I would say the scent itself, for spring, summer, it could be like an 8 out of 10, okay? But, you know, like I said, outside performance, probably low. Probably like a 4 out of 10. But it, maybe this is designed to be a skin scent. You guys ask Dimitri what he says, but maybe this is designed to be a skin scent. Or maybe it's the ingredients. I don't know. But, um, definitely doable, guys. If you are willing to pay for the $220 for this thing and you are willing to spray it a little bit more definitely get it so that is my review of moss cologne i appreciate you guys for being here let me know guys if we should get the vesna cologne should we split that vesna cologne should we go for it let me know in the comments if you're interested or go on my instagram if you're interested in the other one but now currently this one um has been already split so after this whoever kind of got it you know i'm gonna send you guys you know, your piece of moss cologne. All right. So until then, guys, thank you guys for being here. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe on the channel, guys. You know, you know, we're, we're, we're making some headway here, you know, because there are people from the old school that are, are starting to get a little bit irked by what we do. And I love that, you know, because at the end of the day, people that all I wanted to do really was to review stuff that even I wanted to know about, okay? Because if I reviewed the same Essenzas, the same Arrows, and the same, like, stuff that's being reviewed, right, and it's being, like, shuffled into top 10 over and over, I mean, I wouldn't watch that, you know, because I want to hear about these things. I want to get a clear way of, of these things, and especially in this economic condition, it matters to us paying for perfumes, okay? It can get expensed into an expensive hobby, so knowing is more important. We don't have the luxury to just mess around and buy whatever, you know, randomly, 
And so this is why, you know, kind of like the channel exists. Okay. This is the fuel. This is, th these are the questions I wanted to answer. If I was somebody that's, you know, on the fence with Moss Cologne, I got $220. I could buy something else, but you know, I'm, I'm wanting to know. Okay. So I appreciate you guys. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for being here. Thanks for all the support. I love you guys until the next video. We'll talk soon. Peace.